Hey, what's up you guys? It's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So, wow, um, it's been a minute. <laughs> I literally finished my semester yesterday, so I'm on semester break right now. And I thought, what better way to come back to YouTube than to do a video that I always love doing, which is playlist videos. But, so if you have followed my channel for a while, you know that I used to do monthly playlist videos and it used to be like, you know, February playlist, you know, May playlist, all the month playlist. But I think I want to rename it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. So I'm thinking of calling it this my jam Like this is my jam and this is gonna be this is my jam or this my jam episode one So it's basically the same concept. I'm just calling it something else instead of like a monthly playlist But yeah, so I have Been away from YouTube for quite some time just because uni has literally been hell and back <laughs> just with like hand-ins and like a long story short I've like swapped course like degree and shit like that long story short I'm glad to be back I'm really really happy I'm on break now I feel like I have my spirit back um and I'm ready to go so without further ado let's get into this my jam episode one <laughs> So the first song on the playlist is actually the 1975 so from what I know they're coming out with new music everyone seems to be coming out with new music this this summer and I'm I'm here for it I am here for Al I'm here for it I really am so the song give yourself a try by the 1975 honestly when I first heard it I was like oh oh but then I was like yes yes I like this I like this a lot and I'm really really excited to see what the rest of the 1975 have in store for this summer or I hope them they better be releasing this summer if not I'm <laughs> please <laughs> next three songs are actually from a good old a good old boyo called Sean Mendes and the thing is with this is that um, for me when I do my studying and stuff like that I like to put on music of like artists I don't generally listen to not only does it help me concentrate more just knowing because I don't know the song so I won't be like singing along and I just like having music on in the background um, so it's actually from Sean Mendes' new album I gotta say like I'm pretty I'm, I, the album's great I'm I am <laughs> shocked. No, I'm not shocked, but like I'm pleasantly surprised. That's what it is. So the songs, I mean, obviously the, the whole album is great. So I had to just pick a few songs that really stood out to me. So the songs In My Blood, Lost in Japan and Mutual, they really like caught my attention. I mean, there's so many other ones that really caught my attention too, but like if I had to choose three, then it would have to be those three. And honestly, it's you put it on. Like if you're studying, if you want something, if you're cleaning your room, even cleaning the house, Put on the album in the background. It's gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna start like catching them, you know? They're really, really good. Sometimes I feel like giving up, but I just can't. It isn't in my blood. It isn't in my blood. I'm a couple hundred miles from Japan, and I, I was thinking I could fly to your hotel tonight. Cause I can't get you off my mind can't get What do you want? I need to know If this is mutual Before I go And get way too involved I want you bad Can you reciprocate? No, I don't The next song on the playlist is by Drake can't have a playlist without no Drake um, and it's actually the song Feel No Ways and that is off the Views album um, I love Drake <laughs> so this song is just uh, oh no I just I just I just love it it's a good chill song and I, I just like it I just like it a lot not really much else to say than that I like it a lot <laughs> I like it a lot let me know if you know where that reference is from if you do a hundred points to you. <laughs> I should be downtown whipping on the way to you. You got something that belongs to me. Your body language says it all. 
the next song on my playlist is from Dua Lipa. Uh, I was never really sure how to say her name, but now I do. Dua Lipa. Her song, Homesick. I cannot believe I haven't heard this. So the first time I heard this song was because I was in the library. I was studying and dying. And... Um, to, like I put on like some kind of Spotify made this like study music thing and this song came on and I was like I was like sat there I was almost like crying because I was like that song is beautiful and it's actually written with Chris Martin of Coldplay and he actually sings in the song as well beautiful beautiful song oh it touches it like it pulls on the heartstrings it's that good oh, oh, <laughs> you give me a reason something to believe in I know I know so the next song on my playlist is by our good old boys five seconds of summer five seconds of summer can i just point out something i recently watched an interview with them and i'm kind of sad because they don't sound australian anymore like it's like some some words they'll say and it's like a bit of an aussie twang but the rest is just like like who are these i mean yeah i'm happy for them and they live in la and stuff like that obviously they'll they're gonna adapt to like a like a like an accent of sorts but like i'm a bit sad i'm a bit sad oh i totally bloody forgot to talk about the song young blood so also another thing i'm really like nervous about I'm not nervous obviously i'm excited <sighs> they're coming out with a new album young blood obviously it's about fucking time um on the 15th of june which is next week, this week coming up, fuck, on Friday. And I'm kind of nervous because not only has their sound matured, but not only are they li like literally dropping an album, but State Champs also dropping an album on the same day. And I don't know where to put my focus, like, cause I love them equally much, like they're so good. But I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna film a reaction for at least five subs. I don't know if I'll do State Champs. We'll see, we'll see how it goes, but probably next, Next episode of this is probably going to be for quite a lot of fights with some state champs, but... <laughs> but yeah, it was the song Young Blood that I mentioned. It was the song Young Blood. <laughs> Sorry, I keep rambling. I give and I give and I give and you take, give and you take. Young Blood, so you want me, so you want me. Talking about State Champs, the next few songs are actually from State Champs' new album. You know, they usually release a few singles and then the album comes. So, the song Mine is Gold and Crystal Ball. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so bloody excited for their new album. One of my favorite albums that they've ever done is the Around the World and Back. Like, just in general, of like albums that have been my favorite. Just not, not just of the specific artists, but of a lot of people just like in general that's what i'm trying to get at in general it's around the world and back it's a, it's a bloody good song bloody good album but yeah the songs mine is gold and crystal ball oh it's the reason why they're on the playlist it's amazing it's amazing i won't let you live my life from inside my head now let you out it's hard to pretend how actually a song that I came across literally on Instagram if you guys know Ricky T Ricky Thompson I love him he's literally like one of, one of my many spirit animals and he was um, dancing to the song ooh la la by Tanache 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 that doesn't make sense Tanache yeah probably butchered the name anyway that song is actually really like it makes you want to like get down you know it's it's, it's, a, it's a good tune do check it out <laughs> Next song is a song by the one and only Ariana Grande. It is no tears left to cry. And actually, like when I when I first heard it, I was like, oh, okay, okay. But then after that, I was it was on repeat. It's a really beautiful song and I love the music video, it's really cool and she's just fucking beautiful, isn't she? Yeah. 
yeah, it's just it's a great song. It's a great song. You've been loving on the rock if you haven't heard it. Next is some Panic at the Disco, yet another band that's going to be releasing an album this summer, 22nd of June. Honestly, I'm like, my birthday month this year is it's so, so incredible and I'm so bloody thankful. Like, thank you. I don't ask for much, but this is really just, just giving me life. Um, so Panic at the Disco, 22nd of June, are dropping Pray for the Wicked. I'm excited. I'm being... Um, this whole month is just going to be a great month, just knowing that there's so much good new music that's going to be dropped. Uh, but yeah, the song, should I swear? Oh, no, me, I'll do it. Fuck a Silver Lining. Um, it's one of the songs uh, off of the new album. It's a great song. Um, I did, I should have added Amen, uh, it's Saturday night, but like if like I had to choose two of them, I'd, you know, Silver Lining. Anyways, yeah, so go do check it, do go check it out. The next song is a song by an artist that I've recently discovered and I'm absolutely in love with. His name is Anderson Park. I hope that's what you I hope. Um, featuring Schoolboy Q. It is a song called Am I Wrong? If you just want to listen to um, really like chill summer vibey beats then do check out Anderson Peck. Like He's a great great artist and his voice is amazing and his beats are fantabulous if I do say so myself. So the song Am I Wrong? Great song. I actually heard this when I went to go do a uni project at a studio called Changer Studios and they were having um, like this work playlist on in the background and I was like, what song is this? So I had to Shazam it, obviously. <laughs> it's really, really good. Am I wrong to assume if she can't dance, then she can't ooh. Yeah. Am I wrong to say if she can't dance, then she can't the next song on the playlist is One Kiss um, with Dua Lipa. It is the Calvin Harris song and a lot of people have been saying this is going to be the song of the summer. I believe that too. It's it's a, it's literally the de definition of it's a bop, you know? Oh, sorry, talking a lot makes me thirsty. Song is great. Love Dua Lipa. I really hope she... she conquers the world she's beautiful beautiful soul and i love it i love her so much she's she's gorgeous and she makes great music so next song is a bts song wow can't have a place without some k-pop lurking in there can i um and it's the song fake love it literally blew up everywhere if you want to know my stance on like because like i've loved k-pop since 2011 obviously obviously that's not obviously people not a lot of people would know that anyway <laughs> I've been a fan of K-pop since early days, um, but not so much the newer groups. I do enjoy a bit of BTS and Twice and like newer groups, Blackpink obviously, but my homeboys are Big Bang and Shiny and like older groups. Um, but yes, um, the song Fake Love is it's it's it, I understand why it blew up. Like it's a bop. It really is. <laughs> on the playlist is Broken Clocks by SZA. I love this song. Actually, no, you know what? The whole album Control is a great, great album. And I, he I heard somewhere that she's just going to make another album and that she wants to retire after that. I really hope not because she's she's literally like one of my like top girl crushes. She's so beautiful and she makes such good music and it's so, it like so corresponds with my vibe. And I love it so, so, so freaking much. And I just hope she makes, I just can't wait for her next album. And just, I know I just said one song, but please do go check out the whole album control. It's a great, great album. You will not regret it one bit. It's beautiful, the whole thing. All I got is these broken hearts. I ain't got no time. 
So yes, that was it for the first episode of This My Jam. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. Please give me some recommendations of what you guys listen to. I want to know in the comment section below what you guys listen to. So yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys on episode two of This My Jam. Thank you guys so much for watching and I love you guys so much. It's good to be back.